Hi. I have my cat, Harmony, which uh, you see her listening there. Her ears are cocked. And uh, the puppy, Kismet, on the bed. So we'll see how long they can be peaceful and if I can record. Uh, this is called The Rose, A Gift of Vision. And I'm drawing a total blank on what's in this journal. And it's only from a few days ago. It's from 5-24-2010, the first of the day. The Mayan day was 11 Flint. So here goes. I'm trying to get comfortable enough in my skin, so to speak, to attune and to write here. Part of the joy that I find in being outside, as opposed to the previous lifestyle of being pretty much housebound, is the bug bites. They are the other side of that coin, and they provide a good bit of discomfort. So, I actually broke down and took a generic Benadryl capsule this morning. For me to take something, well, it has to be pretty intense before I choose to do that. Yeah, every coin has two sides. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, rainbows abound all around in my room this beautiful morning. The sun is bright, the temp is cozy, and at least a few birds are trilling about. Life is grand in 3D, that's for sure. I wrote this at 7.46 a.m. Actually, though, it's grand all the time, not just when conditions are perfect. Even when the walls are caving in around us and it seems the sky is falling, that's grand in its own way as well. That has more potential to bless us than this, actually. They, there are always strong gifts as the outcome of strong discomfort and pain. At least that's the potential that's there. It's up to us to perceive the presence hidden within it. That can surely be challenging, of course. Like the pain, that's part of my life. Tough to find blessings in that. And still, I know they're there. And that's half the battle, as they say though I don't like calling anything a battle. Everything does start with vision, though, and so changing or working on our vision is powerful. My challenge is getting people to see this rather than just blow it off as, oh yeah, sounds nice, what next? This being to people who are so used to doing can be a hard sell. Hmm. Being doesn't have action enough in it for some. Mind wants to get out and about and do. And it wonders, how can anything be accomplished with mere being? Well, therein lies the thing on which we stick. The word accomplished. Even built into the question is the error. Accomplishing is doing. Being is a horse of a different color. Time out. Oh my God! How many metaphors can one stuff into these few paragraphs? Seems like source or higher self or who or what the heck ever writes these things is having a, a heyday with that. Oh my God, I spelled it H-A-Y. That's ridiculous. Ah, but anyway, being is to enter a completely different mindset. No, wait, no mindset at all. Yeah, that's it. Being is to leave mind behind for a bit and just be. That's more like. That's why mind will never be content to just be. Well, and even that's not specifically true or accurate, for mind can indeed become calm in the midst. It just takes time. So, I wonder if this doing of this writing is the best doing for me now, since it seems everything that I write gets contradicted practically immediately. 
Another strange journal, to be sure. And yes, even my mind says, what's with that? The difference, though, is that my mind knows better than to think I will look into or investigate the question. Both mind and I know better than to walk down that track. No, the better way is just to take the question to wondering and place it down in heart. That's our way to ask Source to respond. Then Source will, or then Source won't, and it doesn't matter either way. For life is grand no matter what, and Source always sees that what comes our way is the grandest. Thus, if I get an answer, that is grand. Thus, if I get no answer, that is at least equally grand. Can you come down into each of your moments with me and begin to see how just the way they are, no matter what is, is simply the best and the grandest that could possibly be? Pause. Be with that for a moment. Get past the mind and it's freaking out. Just ignore it. Look the other way. So, I'll repeat, be in heart. Each of your moments, no matter what, is quite simply the best and the grandest that could be. Ponder that. If it doesn't seem to make sense, well, of course you're right. Did you expect it to? Remember, to make sense is a thing of the mind. We're not interested in that. Let it go. So, if it doesn't make sense, that's okay. Just drop it down in heart with the intent to receive from Source your highest, best, finest guidance regarding that. Then, let go. Just drop it. It is mine that, like a dog, wants to chew on the bone, wants to get all trace of meat of sinew off to eat it up. Heart's not like that, not at all. Heart just is. That chewing's a doing. In the heart, there's no do, there's just be. Simply is. Nothing to do. No need of that. In each of these journals, 